All right, everyone, we have got ourselves yet another double unboxing video. Uh, and I unfortunately don't have time to do all my, you know, fancy editing tricks and stuff because I'm getting ready for G-Fest. And uh, these are just going to be videos coming out in the meantime that I need to edit really quick. So anyway, let's get these open. All right, this is the first part of the unboxing. Um, I've already opened up everything else that was in both those packages. Um, and now we are going to... Take a look at the <laughs> very long awaited, as in almost seven months of waiting since it was put up on pre order, nearly a year of waiting since it was announced. Long. I'm rambling. It's the HAF Zone Fighter figure. <laughs> Would you look at that? Uh, QC issue right out at the window. Evolution toy, what are you doing? Why is his antenna off already? Oh, please tell me that's an easy fix. It looks like an easy fix. We should be good. All right. Well, Red Man was not uh, as good as I was hoping. So let's see if Zone Fighter... In the in the months since the Red Man figure has been released... Uh, well, we, we've got a cool box design at least. You know, this looks neat. Uh, let's see if they've improved their quality control at all. <sighs> My God, I hope they have. Oh, God, this makes me nervous. Let's see here. I'm expecting the worst. Please surprise me, Evolution Toy. All right, let's fix that, uh... Let's fix his antenna. Is that just uh, can I just pop that right back in and that'll f be fixed? I hope to God. Hold on, give me one second. That was indeed an easy fix. Now, uh, a <laughs> moment of truth. Please? Oh, are we okay? <laughs> are we okay? Did we finally get our, get our uh, act together? Oh, I think we did. We might have zero arms falling out. Oh my gosh, it might be a Christmas gosh darn miracle. Oh, and look at the that, look at that elbow bend. That's that's a nice elbow bend compared to the original release. How are the knees? Still Oh my gosh, we have a, a and we have a decent kick backward. Beautiful. This belt is bothering me though. I don't know why it's so loose. I guess maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. I mean, that, that kind of sucks if it is, but, you know. Oh, man, that is a... Hey, am I... Hey, who am I? Beautiful spread! You know what? I think that I might have gotten a good one. Because here's the thing. I was worried because while I was on vacation is when this figure came out. So I wasn't able to get it right away. But looking on Twitter... Um, people were already posting pictures of the arm coming out of uh, the socket like Red Man did. So that had me worried. But you know what? I, th I think I might have gotten an okay one. We might be all good. It still uses this same dumb arm system, though. For some godforsaken reason, because Evolution Toy just has to be unique. They have to pull a Revoltech and make their own system of joints or whatever the h they're doing but yeah like I, i'm i'm going all out on this arm right now and we we're not having major popping off action which is very very nice it makes me very happy actually our both arms are okay right right yeah yeah i think we're good oh man he can look up very f man I, I i'm more engrossed in this figure right now than actually keeping the camera in a good position i apologize but man he can look up very far that is very nice Actually, you know what I'm going to do real quick? All right, for a quick comparison, here's the original um, Zone Fighter release from Evolution Toy, which I, I might do a full-on comparison video at some point, if that's something people are interested in, slash if I have the time to down the line after G-Fest or something. Um, but yeah, like, like look how far his head can tilt up. Oh my god, that's going to be our issue with the figure, isn't it? This stupid antenna. If it's going to keep popping off like that, I might just re-glue it in. Man, that is a tiny tiny antenna i'm rambling anyway but yeah like let's have him in a push-up pose look how far he can look up 
doggy style compared to the original release who yeah if you even try his head will just explode off of his body yeah so in terms of articulation the HAF definitely definitely is superior and in terms of the uh, sculpting and painting department I would also say the HAF kind of blows the original out of the water I never really noticed it before but yeah the original zone fighter <laughs> is really lanky like he looks like a like a weird alien I mean I guess he is an alien but he, like he doesn't have the proportions of a real suit actor and he he looks super desaturated in comparison to this guy who's oh man he's so bright and colorful it's I, I guess I just got used to the the original figure but man I'll tell you what I am a happy camper right now with uh, how this figure is looking. I've got, man, really good articulation. Nothing feels like it's about to pop off or anything. I, f I feel like I'm actually able to handle the figure a little bit. Man, look at that. I can, I can, he, can, he can kneel. He can do a full-on kneeling at church, pray to Jesus kind of kneel. That's, that's, that's just great. As opposed to, again, the original who... If we try to do the same thing, we get about, about there. Yeah. So maybe I'll do a full-on comparison video at some point. But yeah, I am very happy with uh, Zone right now. His head's a little wobbly too, but that's that's the nitpicking. Good, good job, Evolution Toy. You managed to uh, you managed to not completely destroy one of my favorite toku heroes and let's check out the accessories we haven't yet um oh, okay so that's that's interesting we've got a different whoops we have a different system for the meteor missiles this time around we've got a ball joint right in there so i guess you just sort of Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, what the hell am I thinking? Um, yeah, so these go on just like that. You gotta line up the hexagonal pattern, I guess. Actually, you don't because the arms aren't like that. So, you just put those on there, and I guess you, uh, take the hand off. That's very nice, actually. That's a good improvement over the original. That is nice, because the original um, did not have two like ball joints on each thing, um, especially some of the hands on the original. If you try to pop them off, the joint just comes with. So then you have to like pry it out of his hand, and then like also change this, which was a real pain. Because man, the, these these buggers are hard to get out of those hands, especially the splayed ones, which is why I keep them on. If I plan on using them. But uh, actually speaking of using the figure. Uh, episode 4 might be the last hurrah for OG Zone Fighter here. Because I am in the process of finishing episode 5 as we speak. And the last sequence that I need to uh, do really is the sequence with Zone Fighter. And wouldn't you know it. That's just what I'm about to start as this figure comes out. So... This guy should be debuting in the next episode, and thank goodness, because man, what a what an improvement. There's things that I'll nitpick, like this belt, which is going to get annoying doing stop motion, because it'll probably jitter all over the place if I'm not careful. Um, but, man, <laughs> I'm, I'm just happy that he's not falling apart on me, you know? Well, the HAF Zone Fighter is finally out. Uh, and is it worth it? In my case, in my case, I I think it's hard because I can't tell if I got a lucky like like the the lucky egg like the one that has no QC issues so far. I mean, you know, like something could pop off in the middle of filming, and I'll retract all the good things that I said about the QC. But uh, like also the fact that I've seen one on Twitter with its arm popping off, just like my red man did, and leaves me to worry that there are a fair amount of zone fighters out there that are not as 
good as mine, which is sad to say, because this is a it's a very nice looking figure, and the, art, the articulations improved so much since the original. And of course, I'm a huge Zone Fighter fan, did you know? Um, so it's nice to see him finally been done justice a little bit in figure representation. This this is. I, I would go so far as to call this a good figure. It's a good figure. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'm going to update you all on Twitter if anything happens to this figure that makes me want to blow my brains out. But for now, I'm very, I'm very relieved, I, I guess is the best way to put it. I'm very relieved that this figure turned out as it did. So, yeah. Um, I will catch you all later. Uh, catch you all at G Fest very very soon here. Check out my G Fest announcement video if you want to see the times for everything. Super excited to show off episode five to you guys. It's gonna be great. Um, but yeah, uh, I will catch you guys here next time with whatever it is that I have to offer. I would like to give a special thank you to G W R Zilla and Jimmy Moore for being Patreon supporters during this period. If you want to learn how you too can support this channel and earn some awesome rewards in the process, be sure to visit patreon.com slash daikaiju legends.